I drive by, I look at it because I think it's a very attractive icon. Yeah. And it's something that reminds me of the history of the area and the El Conquistador Hotel itself. Historian David Layton has an affinity for iconic places in Tucson. That includes the Elcon Water Tower just south of Elcon Center. The water tower has survived. Its counterpart, the El Conquistador Hotel, did not. The hotel opened in 1928, but was closed and demolished in 1968 for a major expansion of Elcon Mall. The 90-foot water tower was also completed in 1928 in the middle of the Colonia Solana subdivision, but residents didn't appreciate the look of a 50,000-gallon steel water tank dominating the landscape. Within a couple of years, people thought it was an eyesore, so they actually asked for it to be redone, and they actually had a cover built or a shell built over it in Spanish colonial revival style. Famed Tucson architect Roy Place, who designed the historic Pima County Courthouse, designed the Elcon water tower sheathing. Completed in 1934, it's been a focal point of the Elkhorn area ever since and remains one of the most ornate water towers in the country. 92 years after being built, it's become a Tucson icon. I think it's age and then it's just kind of in the middle of like a, an apartment complex and it's kind of unique and it's so close to Elkhorn Mall so so many people see it. And it is actually very attractive, you know, being Spanish colonial. A common misconception is that the tower provided water to the El Conquistador Hotel. Layton says there was never any evidence of lines actually running under Broadway to the hotel. Unlike the hotel, the Elcon water tower has survived even though it's been more than 75 years since it worked. It actually hasn't been used as a water tower since 1944, uh, but people have wanted to tear it down. Um, but people have fought to save it because it's part of our history. And that history will be preserved. The Elkhorn Water Tower was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 1980, and it was restored by the city in 1994. How about a rare look inside? These photos were taken three years ago during a Tucson Historic Preservation Foundation tour. You can still see the original tank and steel girders holding it up. Back outside, at the very top, is the water tower's weather vane. It depicts an old miner and his donkey. It definitely has a uh, south, you know, western feel or mining feel that goes along with Arizona's history. Although it did have to be taken down for repairs in 1974, the weather vane has survived severe weather and more than 90 years, just like the tower proving to be absolutely Arizona.